Hi, I'm Patrick Tuttle, the real estate guy with Legacy Real Estate Services with today's market reports. This is our market absorption rate report for El Paso in the Greater El Paso Association of Realtors Multiple Listing Service, in which I answer the question, how's the market? And I'll be right back with the answer. All right, so back with the answer. Today is Monday, June 8th, 2020. And what's going on with our real estate market here in the greater El Paso area? Well, I got to tell you, this is exciting because the market is doing so, so well in, um, in, in relation to how it's been in past years. We're almost to the point of where we were back in 2006. The lowest point in inventory I've seen in my 19 years of doing real estate here in El Paso was June 1st, 20, 2006, in which that day we had 1,500 active properties on the market, both new and resale. And today it is just absolutely amazing. We have 959 resale homes on the market. That's the lowest number I've seen since June 1st of 2006. Now that 1500 that I just mentioned, that was actually a combined number with new homes and resale. And that's back when the mortgage rates we thought were low, but as we get to the end of the broadcast today, we'll see what really low means. But back then they weren't low. It's just they were loaning, the, the banks were loaning money to anybody that could fog a mirror. Now the homes that are on the market, those 959, They've got an average list price of 253,827, and they've been on the market for an average of 78 days, and that's been steadily declining. It was actually 77 last month, but we've been going down below 90 for quite some time now. Uh, there were 471 homes that sold during the month of May, that being May 2020. We sold 471 homes through our Greater El Paso Association of Realtors Multiple Listing Service. The average price of the homes that sold, 187822 So you can t see that we've got some big listings out there that are pulling the average list price way up. And as you get higher in price, they're not selling quite as quickly because we still don't have the plethora of buyers above $500,000 here in El Paso. So the average sale price, 187,822. And what did that get you? Well, it got you a home that was about 1,918 square feet on average at $95.74 per square foot. Now I can remember not too long ago, we were still in the 70s and low 80s. So we've had a big increase over the past couple of years in our market with what you're getting for your dollars in the, that resale market. We saw 453 homes sell in the month of April 2020. So we did have an increase May to April. So it really doesn't appear as though COVID-19 is affecting us that much with the real estate market, except that we believe people are saying, you know what, if I'm going to shelter in place, I'm going to do it in a place of my own. I'm going to go out and I'm going to buy a home and people are certainly doing that. The average sale price back in April was 182,624. And over the last 12 months, rolling from June 1st, 2019 to May 31st, 2020, we saw 6,039 homes sell through our multiple listing service. Again, this is single family residential that does not include the new homes. This is resale only. The average selling price for that 12 month period was 177,409 so that you can see now that we're at 187,822, we've had a $10,000 increase in the past year on what the average sale price is through our Greater El Paso Association of Realtors. And that means that our market is up on volume and our market is up on price. We've got price appreciation coming and it's making a big difference. Now, over the past year, we have averaged 503 homes per month. And when you take that 959 homes that sold in the month of May, and, or excuse me, the 959 homes that are available right now, that tells us that we have a 1.91 month of inventory available in the resale market. Now, what that means is that if nobody else put their house on the market, 
we'd sell out in two months. Well, we know that's not going to happen with the military's stop movement order expiring on June 30th. I am expecting that our inventory is going to grow a bit because those people who have been staying in place waiting for their military movers to come pick their household goods up, I expect that many of those will be putting their homes on the market and the inventory is probably going to creep up a little bit. We'll see what happens. That's just my prediction as to what I think is going to happen, but time will tell and we'll see what uh, the reality of it is. Now let's move on to our new homes report. As of today, we have 1,122 new homes that are available through the Greater El Paso Association of Realtors Multiple Listing Service. They have an average price of 218, 912, so you see a big disparity between where the new home list price is and the resale home list price is. That average resale price again was 253, 827, but when it comes to sales, the sale price was 187, 822. And then we've got the new homes that are on the market at 139 days. And I say just cut that in half because there are so many homes that are out there listed in the multiple listing service that aren't even started yet. And then we've got those that are completed. So the easiest way to explain this, just cut this number in half, somewhere around 70 days on market for the finished product. We saw 170 new homes sell through the month of May in the El Paso Association of Realtors MLS. And that selling price for those new homes was 215 to 66. So again, you see this big disparity between where the, the list price of the new homes is on average, which again, that was at um, 218, 912. And then just slightly below that, we've got the 215, 266 on the selling price compared to that 253 versus 187 on the resale homes. Well, what did that get you? It got you a house that was about 1,887 square feet on average, and that was at $114.07 per square foot on average. So there are some new homes out there that are selling well above $150 a square foot here in El Paso, and uh, we're starting to catch up with some of the other major markets here in, in Texas and around the country because of the shortage of homes and of the skyrocketing cost to build homes. All of those things, the natural events such as hurricanes over the past couple of years, the shortages of steel, all these things are starting to catch up and our prices are creeping up now to where we're at $114 a square foot on average in order to sell a new home here in El Paso. Now, back in the month of April, we saw 167 homes sell, just to give you a comparison, and those sold at an average price of $205 to $219. Over the past rolling 12 months, we saw 2,381 new homes sell through the Association of Realtors MLS, and they sold at an average price of $212. 275. So we're still hitting those high numbers on uh, the year and that tells us that our market overall is up on price and up on volume because we're selling almost 200 of them a month. In fact, the average was 198 a month and that gave us a 5.67 months of inventory. So again, cut that in half, which tells us that we're going to be somewhere around two and a half to three 3.25 months of inventory in the marketplace for the new homes, selling them on average at about 198 of them a month. And then what are interest rates doing? Well, this just continues, continues to uh, boggle my mind on the interest rates, but I think what's, what we're seeing is that with the shutdown in the economy back in late March and early April, now that most of the states are starting to open back up, including Texas, as we've rolled out, I believe, in phase three of reopen Texas, um, it appears as though the stimulus is going to be in the real estate market because interest rates are at 3.13 on average for a 30 year conventional mortgage nationwide. Yours is going to vary depending on what your credit scores are. Uh, who your lender is, whether you've had any foreclosures or bankruptcies or anything like that. But 3.13 is cheap, cheap, cheap money. And when you go out and you put that over a 30 year period of time, then uh, it really is making home ownership very, 
very affordable. And I believe that the economy is going to be rebuilt on the backs of the real estate market very much like it was back in 2008, 9, and 10, where the first time home buyer programs came out. Uh, we had the low interest rates that were started back then, and they're just continuing as we go into 2020 and the reopening of the economy. If you've got questions on how this information affects you in either your home purchase or your home sale or whether or not you can sell, you might end up having to be in property management, give me a call. I'd love to visit with you about it. 915-588-1850 is my cell number. And you can also reach me on the web at patrick at patricktuttle.com. Shoot me an email. You can also post comments right here below, and I will get back to you as soon as I see those. For now, thanks for watching. God bless you, and make it a great day. Bye-bye.